I have already created a video on how to do SSH from one EC2 to another EC2. So in this video, I'm going to share another method which you can use for SSH login from one EC2 to another EC2. So for that, let us create two EC2s. So I'm going to create two EC2s, one server one and one server two. Server one, I will have a key pair. Server two, I will not have a key pair. Let us see how we can log into server two from server one using SSH. So server one, I'm using Ubuntu latest AMI is fine. Come down. I'm going a little fast on this because this is just simple launching of an EC2. T2 micro is fine. Key pair, I'm going to use one. Okay, come down. Default network, default subnet, everything is fine. Come down. And security group, you just need access to port number 22. So either you can create a new security group or if you already have one existing, you can use that. So I have already created one which has port number 22 open. So please ensure that port number 22 is open. That's the only requirement. Come down and you can launch the instance. This is the first server from where you will do SSH. So at the same time, let me also create a second server to which I will try to SSH into. So again, launch instance. Here I'm going to say server 2 and come down, same Ubuntu, same AMI, come down, ET2 micro is fine. Key pair, I'm saying proceed without a key pair. So let us see when there is no key pair in the server 2, how do we log in? How do we log in using SSH into that machine? Come down, network settings default is okay. Security group, you can create one or you can select an existing security group which has port 22 open. So I have one, so I'm going to reuse that, come down, launch the instance. So go to instances and then you can see there are two instances, server one and server two. Server one has a key pair, server two doesn't have that. And you can just note down the IP address of server two because we will need to use that. It is public IP address. This is the IP address, I'm just copying it. I'm copying it into a notepad. Okay, now what do we do? We need to log into server one and then do some activities. So let me select server one and then click on connect, then click on SSH client, come down and then copy this connection string and then open a command prompt or terminal. So I have this terminal and wherever you have your key pair, most likely it will be in your downloads folder. I'm already in downloads folder. Just paste that connection string, yes. So I have logged into server one, okay? So I'm going to set the hostname for this, sudo hostname control set hostname server one. You may exit and log in again. Okay, so here using a utility called SSH keygen, I'm going to create a key pair and then I will upload the public key part of that key pair into server two. So once I do that, I'll be able to do SSH from here to server two. So let me do that by using this command SSH keygen minus F. You have to specify that file name, which will be created with the key pair. So I'm going to create it in dot SSH folder. I'm going to call it new key file, enter. It will ask some passphrase when you are creating it. I don't want to enter anything. So just enter without entering any passphrase. And then just try to do ls.ssh, you will have two key files created there. One is new key file, which is the private key part, and this is the public key part. So what we need to do is, we need to copy this public key part to server 2. So for that, what you can do first is cat.ssh new key file dot pub. Okay, so you can just copy this to a notepad copy to a notepad or you can directly copy it from here whenever you have to paste it into server 2. Now let's log into server 2. When you haven't used the key pair, how can you log into server 2? You can log into server 2 using EC2 instance connect. So go to your EC2 dashboard, go to your server 2, this one, click on that, click on connect and click on EC2 instance connect and connect. So we are going to get connected to the server 2. So you can see this is server 2 and uh, what we need to do here is just try to find out what are the files available in ls.ssh. You can see there is something called authorized keys. Now it will be empty ssh authorized keys because there is no authorized public keys for this particular EC2. So what you need to do is you can use an editor and vi.ssh authorized keys and whatever you had copied from your server one public key pair which you created right 
this one so let me copy this and i'm going to paste it in the authorized key file yes now escape save quit right now now what has happened is i have actually created a key pair called new key file the public key part of that key pair is copied into the authorized keys file of your server 2 so because of that using this private key file i'll be able to ssh from server 1 to server 2 so let us see what is the command for doing that just use this command i am copy pasting it i will include all these in the cheat sheet so ssh minus i then give the file name which is your private key file new key file in dot ssh and this is the ip address of server number 2 so just do this say yes yeah so you are already in server number 2 so how do you find out whether you are in server number 2 you can just do curl if config dot me it will give you the public ip address so what is the public ip address 124.9.10 so this is server 2 and uh, you can see the public ip address 124.9.10 so that, that was another method which you can use for getting ssh access from one ec2 to another ec2 you can create a key pair in the first ec2 and then copy that public key part into the authorized keys file of your target ec2 and once that is done using that key file you will be able to ssh from server 1 to server 2 so please try this out at your end i hope you enjoyed this video i will create such useful videos in future too please consider subscribing to my channel thank you bye